what's up youtube we're back at it again with another video tutorial for you guys demonstrating a medium drop fade with the hooks all natural no enhancements i know it's been a while but i've been really busy trying to get to you guys here i'm using my five all blade on my 76ers osters as you guys can see i'm just shaping up and i'm trimming down you know whatever the client's preference is I already cut it to the size that he wanted on top so now I'm just shaping up the sides cleaning up the top you know I'm checking out from different angles from the back from the front from the sides making sure it's well rounded and well shaped one thing I learned from one of the barbers I work with is you always got to shape it up two or three times you know you might have the shape down at the first time you know oh my god it looks great but you can always pick it out again and you can reshape it just to make sure that everything looks good. All right, guys. So here we're going to be doing our first guy line with the Slimline Pros modified blade. What I mean by modified is just zero gapped. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm starting it a little bit on top of the top of the ear and I'm dropping it in the front that way I get that dark blend you know around the hook area which I am going to be including the hooks in this so I'm going to do the same thing all the way to the other side and we're just going to follow through with the first guy line it's important that we always use the mirrors to guide us you know you sometimes you might look at the at the lineup at the you know whatever you call it the first guy line and you might look at it and be like wow that looks great but you can always look back at the mirror and i guarantee you the mirror will not lie at you sometimes i make my guidelines and i'm like oh that looks good then i turn back around and as i'm spinning the client i realize that it looks a little lopsided so that's when i realize you know using the mirror is really important you know as a beginner as a whatever you want to call it you know 10 years in the game doesn't matter you know we're always learning as barbers you know things change people change everything change all right guys so now i'm using my brawn shaver series 7 790 cc and uh, as you guys can see i'm not going too high close to my first guy line i like to keep it half an inch to an inch below the guy line i, I really never really liked the super bald effect on the fade it's just not my preference you know and in case you guys do create a harsh line one major tip i can give you guys what i use on my cuts on my tapers fades whatever it kind of cut it is if if I get a harsh line, for some reason, my five star shaver, my wall, always helps me remove that harsh line and it gives it a soft blend on the shaver. So now guys, we're doing our second guy line. No, I don't use my half guy line. I go straight into the one guard. This is a one guard on a magic clip wall. And as you guys can see, I'm going up about an inch and I'm flicking out instead of going straight into the cut. That way we create no harsh lines and it's easier to remove our guidelines. As you guys can see, now I'm doing the one and a half guard all the way closed and I'm doing the same motion I used for my second guideline. So now as you guys can see, I have the zero guideline. I have the one guideline and the one and a half guy line and you know just in case you guys didn't know in order to remove those lines you use the same guard probably using corner technique because remember guys to create your guidelines you do need to put the full blade or you you don't have to but the way i do it is i use the whole blade to create my guideline and when it comes down to the fading i use all corners that way you get that you know that great blurriness After creating my three guidelines, guys, I'm going to be using my two guard, which is the highest guard I'm using on this fade. I am not using a three, 
and if I do need to kind of remove a little bulk off the top I will be using the clip over comb and usually when I do clip over comb one thing I highly recommend the way I make my fades is I put the one guard and then I put the clip over comb that way you know you avoid any you know bad things to happen Alright guys, after I blended all my guidelines, which was my one and my one and a half, now I'm creating my last guideline, which is my half guard. I usually use a half guard, it's just, it's my preference, I like it better than just open all the way. As you guys can see, I went about half an inch to an inch, whatever you want to call it. And as you guys can see, I'm using the lever going up and down constantly, you know, to use a fading technique. That way I can, you know, blur out the fade, whatever you guys want to call it. That's just my way. I don't keep the half half lever, you know, closed or open at the, the whole time. I'm just literally going up and down, depending on how the fade is coming up. And, you know, if you guys get a dark spot or you guys get a, you know, dark blend, you guys can always go back to your other guidelines, which is the half, the one, or the two. It's okay to always go back and, you know, fix something you know there's no there's nothing wrong with going back if you guys are not already following me on my instagram page it is at cr underscore the barber t-h-e barber make sure you guys check it out i got daily content pictures videos small clips you know keep you well entertained make sure to give me a follow and i'll give you guys a follow back So here guys, I'm doing major detailing. And as you guys can see, it's my first time doing my second guy line. And this is, you know, lever all the way open, which is a half. And uh, you guys can see I'm using literally the first three teeth of the blade. And that's pretty much it. I'm not, you know, going in too deep. I'm just major detailing. And as you guys can see, I have a little dark line here that I didn't like, which might, you know, obviously it's gonna be taken off with my slim lines because that's the way i created my first guideline and you know detailing detailing is key major and a taper or fade you know obviously you know by the way that things are going nowadays you know the blurrier the fade the better you are according to you know some certain people but don't let that underestimate you guys you know you know we're all still learning you know we we're all there one day it didn't you know happen overnight being great it's just as long as you say failure you know you're always going to be great you know if it doesn't break you it doesn't make you just remember that guys i like to use hairspray spritz whatever you guys call it depending on what you guys you know what kind of stuff you guys use this is hairspray because i kind of ran out of spritz spritz is a stronger hold and it kind of you, know, you can put your blow dryer to it and it'll just dry it pretty well and stable that way you know your lineup looks crispy and uh you know as you guys see right here it says all natural hooks no paint no enhancements there's nothing wrong with using enhancements or paints it's just not my preference i feel like i can do it pretty well with without it you know that's just being confident and as you guys can see i'm doing the same thing on the other side maybe switch up the steps a little bit just because i'm going faster it's just you know speeding it up but i use the same exact technique on the other side guys you know from the zero to the half to the one and a half to the two beam highest and the rest is clipper over comb if i have to remove some bulk i promise guys to bring you guys more youtube videos it's just bobby i've been really busy at the shop you know knocking out 15 to 20 haircuts a day which i'm truly blessed you know i've been praying for days like these i try to keep it up with you guys i know you i know i get a lot of support from a lot of people i appreciate you guys i'm very humbled by it you know i never thought i'd be in this position in my life but you know thanks to the man upstairs i am where i am because of him anyways guys i will keep you guys posted i will keep you guys updated on my instagram when i'm dropping another video stay tuned be patient we got great things coming hope you guys can learn something daily with whatever i post
right guys so as you guys can see we are now in the occipital area occipitalis whatever you guys want to call it as you guys can see we're doing the same steps in the back and you know this has a little drop to it doesn't have a major drop it's just the way i do my draw fades depending on the hair texture and the shape of the head and then as you guys can see i'm doing the same thing but instead of doing it straight i'm doing to the you know the way of the sh shape of the head which is obviously is dropped so it's going to go at a certain angle instead of just a flat fade in the back and we're doing the same exact steps guys you know and as we are doing this we're also combing the hair you know depending on the pattern of the hair that way you know we don't create no false spottings whatever you guys want to call it always comb the hair it is important you guys comb the hair while you guys are fading whether it's straight hair coarse hair curly hair whatever you guys call it always keep a comb in one hand or brush whatever you guys are doing and just keep combing you know comb 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 guys so now we are, are getting to the last part of this demonstration we are getting to the lineup you know the way i like to do it is i like to stand on the side of my client and turn his head facing me that way i get a clear look at his lineup and as you guys can see remember what i got, told you guys at the beginning of the video you know you can always shape it up two or three times here i am i'm picking that out again and i'm going to shape it up one more time making sure i get the sides nice and flat I don't want to give it that, you know, that flat top look because that's not what my client wants. But I'm just cleaning up the sides, making sure that the hair doesn't overlap and it gives it that nice round shape. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys taking your time. If you guys have any questions, comments, make sure, you know, hit me up on YouTube. Hit me up on Instagram. That would be pretty much easier since I'm always, you know, posting stuff there. I check it daily, you know, whatever it is, guys. Remember, guys, three major key tips I want to leave you guys. You know, rule number one, you know, customer service is very important. You know, the way you talk to a client, the way you approach, and especially the way you greet a client as they walk through your door, you know, that's key. You know, they might be walking in with a, you know, weird attitude. You know, you never know, depending on what time of the day it is. You know, a great welcoming from you, you know. Let them feel like, you know, you're excited to, you know, to have them in your chair. It can change the whole attitude of a person, you know. You know, guys, always be positive. Always be humble. Always have great energy, you know. You are your business, you know. You represent yourself. You represent your attitude. You know, the barber in the shop is not going to represent you, you know. Remember, guys, this is more than just a haircut. You know, always be on top of it. Always be kind. Always be generous. And always be thankful at the end of every service to your clients. Remember guys to always stretch the skin the opposite way of the razor ring. Always be careful, you know, protect your clients at all times. You know, sanitize your tools, protect your client at all times. SMA, sanitize maintenance area guys, is key, remember that. Here guys, you know, I always like to go over the front lineup, make sure we get those strangles, whatever you guys call it, those long hairs, making sure that the front looks nice and clean. We got no hairs popping out. You know, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, once again, CR underscore the barber. You know, I will bring you guys back with another YouTube video pretty soon. Stay tuned. Appreciate the love. Thanks for watching. Drop your comments, drop your likes, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you, guys.